Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you a way to use a stencil to make a background page or a journal page. I've got a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I've put it inside of a box because we're going to spray it with Tattered Angels, and sometimes Tattered Angels can kind of splatter outside the area that you want it, so this is just to help contain it. So any box will fit, will work. I'm going to use a green, it's called Blarney, and I'm going to shake it up and then spray this page a little bit all over. I just want an overall spray on the background. Next I have the Scotty Dog stencil and I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to use a little bit of the Out to Sea Tattered Angels and just spritz inside each of those little areas where the doggies are. I'm going to take another sheet of paper and mop up. I like doing this technique because then I end up with a piece of paper that has these shadows on here. Kind of cute. All right, now I'm going to leave that stencil down. I'm going to make sure that it's lined back up. It shifted just a little bit. And I've got the little daisies stencil. I'm going to lay that on top, making sure that the bottom stencil didn't shift. And I'm going to use party pink. I'm going to come in here and spritz those little flowers. I'll mop up this layer of Tattered Angels. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll spray the back sides of my papers. That way when I get ready to use them in my journal page, as a journal page, it's already decorated with a little bit of color on both sides. So here is mopping up the little daisy stencil. I'm going to go ahead and lift both of these stencils. And now you can see that I have a little bit of a pattern with the Scotty dogs. It's real faint. It's perfect for writing on. Of course, depending on what color you choose, you can make this a little bit darker. But I just wanted to share with you really fast. I'll show you that one, this one, and this was the mop up of one. Here's one that I made earlier where I did just the blue and the pink. And here's where I mopped up and got some little bit of pattering on there. I hope you enjoyed just seeing a quick way to use a stencil in your artwork. Stay tuned, I'll have more on gel printing and actually turning them into journal pages. If you come to my live streams on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and again on Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I do mixed media on Thursdays. On Mondays, I create junk journals. So I hope you'll come and join me. Thank you so much for watching today. Check the description box below for the products that I use. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Also, if you would, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.